one of the hardest challenges in life is to say goodbye to what you have devotion for, your friends, your family, or even the smallest of details people might think you can live without. But at the end of the day, you might miss. My parents started thinking about the idea of moving to the US. Of course, as a kid who lived in Colombia for basically his entire life, it was hard to accept the fact that I was about to leave my entire life behind. But on the other hand, I was also looking forward to it. I don't want to imply I had a bad life in Colombia, but let's say I wanted to make adjusting, adjustments to my life. As you may know, my country doesn't guarantee the best lifestyle, especially for a kid. Days passed by and the time to leave became scarier, but at the same time, I was excited for this new life I was going to face. The people I was going to meet and the opportunities this country was about to provide me. <clears throat> by the time I said goodbye to everyone, I loved and appreciate it was time to departure and undertake this new life. Before arriving, I wasn't very worried, worried about the fact that I didn't have much experience speaking English because I learned the language back, back at home, or at least I thought I did. As soon as I arrived, I started, school, I, I started school with a very enthusiastic and optimistic mood. But the same day I began going to school, the cultural change hit me extremely hard. The fact that I didn't know, not know even a single person in the school where approximately 3,000 students attended just terrified me because I was accustomed to a small school in Colombia where I grew up with everybody and let's not forget the fact that I spoke the same language as the rest of my classmates. I remember me trying to ask a question or even just wanting to start a conversation with people but it was so frustrating. They wouldn't fully understand me. A week had gone by and I already, already accepting the fact that I wouldn't have friends, but that, that wasn't the case. With time, I started making friends, and to be fair, not speaking the same language as the rest was a poor, poor excuse back then, because there were as many Hispanic kids as American kids. I, I was just very intimidated by everything. Did, I didn't open as quickly as I expected to be. After a year living in the US, I learned how to properly speak English, and I also met many incredible people throughout the way. My parents and I decided that I should start attending a different school, a school called Montbert Academy. This school brought my attention for various reasons, for its athletics program, the lifestyle in school, and the grand diversity this was. After two years after school, I felt very much at home, even though I missed the days when my biggest worries were whether I could go out on a Friday. 